All right, this is a goofy little short video basically to remind you that MATLAB um, has sound effects because, I mean, how would you not need sound effects while you're programming? I guess it could happen. These have been in MATLAB since the beginning of time as well. Um, there are at least six that I know of for sure that are built in. There might be more, but you know, I don't know how to make them stop. You just have to keep pressing control C, doesn't make them stop. You can make them stop by closing MATLAB entirely, which I have actually had to do sometimes when I've accidentally played songs that were too long. Um, but basically what you would do is you can load the preset um, sound, so chirp, for example, and it's a it's a matrix file, actually, so they have this data in a matrix. So um, I'm not even sure what P is doing. Audio player with properties, so it does stuff, it just does it for you automatically, um, and it loads it and it plays it. So let me see. Let me see I'll see clear so we can see it exactly, in case you care exactly what this is doing. If I do this and this. So loading chirp pulls in a Y and a frequency sampling. So if you open this up, this is the data. And I'm not an audio engineer, but like this is the data of what it looks like. So like I could plot Y and see somewhere. There we go. Um, that's hallelujah. I mean, if you're thinking, oh wait, this is chirp, never mind. Handel, Handel Messiah, Handel. So that's, those are the hallelujahs, right? You can kind of see the hallelujahs going on there. Okay, so those are your hallelujahs. And then the frequency sampling, I think is like how often you pull the sound off the thing. I'm again, not an audio engineer, but anyway, that's what load is doing. Load is pulling the data um, out of the handle data file. And then audio player is playing the file with the given frequency sampling, so you have to tell it how much you want it to sample it. Um, and then I guess it plays it. I have to do your own files again too. So P, audio player, and then play. Okay, so that was fun. So with the frequency sampling, could um, frequency sample it divided by two. Oh dear God, that it goes really slow. That's fun. So that's what frequency sample, what the frequency sampling does, and it's enough to make everybody make it stop immediately. Okay, so you can just play with these, put in different ones. your own files um, as long as you can see them in the current folder they're in fair they're fair game I took these off of YouTube non attributable required no attribution required things so hopefully I can post this and I won't get taken down um, so it's the same thing except you have to actually load it in you have to instead of saying load because it's not preloaded into MATLAB you've got a audio read it in and I guess instead of audio player it's sound I don't know why if I was super into well into audio stuff I wouldn't be using MATLAB anyway this is just if you've already got the sound and it's good to go you're not using MATLAB to do anything with sound you're just using it to play it this is how you can play sound if you're trying to do like actual sound editing do not use MATLAB that would be crazy um, so audio read you're gonna use the whole file name plus the .mp3 um, the data again and the frequency you don't have to call it data and frequency you can call it scuzz and bucket and as long as you call it scuzz and bucket then it's still gonna work um, so you know whatever this song was um, off of the internet and then there's this other one that i found but again make sure you include the .mp3 file um, extension and uh, oh, something else. Oh, so much for that. Anyway.
anyway, so you can play some little sounds in MATLAB and, well, that's about as exciting as it gets, so I'll believe that enough. <laughs>